What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. <clears throat> do not lie to me about this. I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Dan, I've been lying to you about this for years. Okay. I... Okay, that'll do. It was a bad day to work at the White House. Black Arrow's outer perimeter was there to prevent accidental witnesses. Then there was the inner cordon around the White House to make sure nobody bothered Reed while he did his dirty work. After all, the army was eventually going to get its ass in gear and start airlifting people into the city. Then there was going to be some explaining to do. Reed's solution was brilliant. If the cavalry showed up after he'd taken out the president, then Black Arrow was there to help secure the White House and our new president. If not, Black Arrow would be the scapegoat, and their resistance would buy enough time for him to finish the job. What was going on inside the White House made the stuff in the streets look like a party. Reed's people were in there, not Black Arrow. And they were clearing it room by room. Reed had disabled most of the security from Third Echelon. The EMP had taken care of the rest. All the President had left was Secret Service. And they weren't enough. Sam was in, trying to make his way through the White House while the people he'd trained tried to kill him. As for Grimm, well, she had the hard part. For whatever it's worth, Sam, I am so sorry for everything. I thought we were in a hurry. Right. We need to get you close to Reed, and we need to do it in a way that doesn't make him double-tap the President immediately. Got any ideas? One. But it's gonna hurt. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. Tom, I've got Fisher. I'm bringing him in. Don't do anything drastic until I get there. Sorry, Sam. You're going to the Oval Office. You've got to dress properly for the occasion. Hands? You comfortable? Ah, fuck. Get up. You've got an appointment with the President. I was wondering when you were gonna get here. Nice work, Anna. I see you got some payback in for the stun he pulled at the airfield. Knowing you're gonna go down in history as the man who assassinated President Caldwell. Fuck you, Reed. Of course, we'll be just a little too late to rescue her. And you'll be shot multiple times trying to escape. It's classic, but it's clean. You don't honestly believe that this is gonna work. The surveillance camera's footage is gonna show. Your cameras, we own them. Your security measures, we made sure the Pulse fried them. We're third echelon, Madam President. We own every bit of information that goes through this town. And if I want to, I can make it look like you were assassinated by two circus clowns and a golden retriever. So shut up, and you might live a few seconds longer. <laughs> That's not third echelon. It's not Lambert's third echelon. Last time I checked, he was dead. And guess what? Third echelon nearly died with Tom. Him. You see, the president decided the agency wasn't justifying its funding anymore. She was gonna shut us down, leave America vulnerable to the sort of attacks you spent so many years stopping. Madam President, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Son of a... That was a close call. You've got call. maybe two minutes before the army takes back the White House. Make them useful. How did Megiddo get to you? 
You don't want to know about Megiddo. You want to know about your daughter. You don't get to talk about my daughter. You still don't get it, do you? Sarah didn't matter. Threatening her was just a way to get to you. And leveraging you was a way to get to third echelon. And third echelon, that was a way to get what they wanted out of the White House. You're the mole. You're the one Lambert was worried about. Very good, Sam. You finally see. You oh, son of a bitch! Oh. You cost me three years of my life. Three years when I thought my daughter was dead. <laughs> move, move! Drop your weapon on the floor now! Captain, thank you for rescuing me. Now, I don't see anyone else here but us, and I'm sure you don't either. Oh, ma'am. Let's get you out of here. Thank you. Oval Office is secure. We have the President. POTUS is safe and secure. 